Hey, to the streets HD showing love is the Brooklyn way outside downtown Brooklyn and basically want to talk about biased bloggers nah not, not even not even but listen here's the deal right I just wanted to say, you know say you know sometimes we we watch we watch battles and we assume or we feel as if one battler one as opposed to the other and you know it might be first watch it might be second watch it might be third watch but at the same time I think that we shouldn't be afraid if our opinion changes to come out and let it be known or or to say you know maybe you know you missed a bar here or there and you gave a rapper uh, a round where you know you thought that this battle had like you know the the most fireballs ever this round had the craziest balls ever but then you go back and listen to it you're like oh wait a minute he took that from that rapper or you know um maybe the balls weren't hitting like a word it was off like you know say for instance in a recent battle we had cassidy versus goods and uh goods said you know hop 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 your ass hop in that box like double dutch when it really seemed like he meant to say hopscotch right and so it's like people were like oh that's a fire bar when really it may have been a miscue by goods or just and it, it, in either way it's like a penalization or a deduction via it not being the correct type of line if you want to judge battles in the set in the sense where you know it's about who's the best rapper about putting the best balls together you know the how Cassidy say with the figurative language maybe similes and and, and uh structure like say uh symmetry and you know just everything that it, it takes to just create a, a full uh body of work in the form in, in, the, in the form of a verse you know there are different elements and different ways that you, you can go about doing that and when someone comes with a bar that might be a little bit off like biggie had a lot of crazy balls i ain't gonna hold you so we ain't even got to touch on that <laughs> right whereas my like, hey, why would you say something like that you know cringy bars people might take away for for you know you know, there's different things you might hear at one point where, that you might not hear at a different point. So I'm just saying, never be afraid to go back on your work as a blogger. You know, don't be stuck. Don't be uh, too egotistical to say where you're wrong or where you feel that your opinion has changed. Uh, that's pretty much my point. So with that, I'm not going to hold you, man. Peace and love to you, man. Show and love the Brooklyn way into the streets. HD textiles downtown Brooklyn. Let me know what you think, though, man. Let me know what you think. Do you think that bloggers should never change their opinion when they come out with their blog? Or should they come out and be like, yo, listen, man, now you know I think this and that is different. Man, I feel as if, you know, maybe I got this guy rapping. Uh, matter of fact, I got this rapper winning this round, but I just, listen, I just watched the battle again, and now I feel that like this rapper is winning the battle. I feel that they should. I feel that you should if you're a blogger, and you should say why you make the change, because I want to see growth. I want to see people say, you know, because I know a couple of bloggers that listen to some verses, listen to some balls that they heard like in the last few weeks, right? And they didn't get the ball. They didn't understand what it was, and they called the balls basic or outdated and so forth and so on. But when I went back and explained it to them, they like kind of get it. But I haven't heard any like reactions or responses. So what I'm saying is don't be afraid to come out and say where you feel that you can improve and because I think that it will help you overall as a blogger. So with that said, Textiles Brooklyn, I'm out of here.